All right, YouTube. So this video, I'm actually making it very quickly on the cell phone because I'm actually about to head out to my son's graduation. He's graduating eighth grade today. We're kind of excited. We do have a, a couple of older kids that uh, are in college. One's about to finish that. And the second one is on, uh, well underway in our second year, for, about to start her second year. Anyway, so with that, what is this video about? This video is about uh, sort of the hit, hidden secret message that uh canon made out today with the c400 that came out um what exactly is that so what you saw um showcased today um was a sensor um new sensor 26.4 megapixel sensor which is stacked this is the ins and you're not going to find this information on in most channels because they obviously uh, haven't figured out canon in the long run canon does this all the time um uh, very similar to the different sensors that they come out with on their cinema line and then they take some variant of that uh into their still side of the house as well because a lot of things are becoming hybrid so if you watched rudy winston actually introduce uh, the 35 1.4 vcm lens which is the voice coil voice coil motor which i alluded to yesterday um so that's exactly what it is so all I can tell you is um, that 26 megapixel sensor and or some variant of that sensor is showing up on that R1. Um, it has a triple base ISO. No other camera has that. Uh, everything's been either dual, which is, you know, 800, you know, some, somewhere in that range on the lower end and then 6,400 on the higher end. Uh, by the way, did you know that the Nikon ZF is actually a dual base ISO sensor. Um, didn't know that, did you? Uh -huh. I'm sure most Nikonians don't know that either. Anyway, so, uh, but it is. Absolutely love the sensor. It's great. Um, this one is triple uh, base sensor. Um, so what that means is you have 800, uh, I think it's 800, um, 3200, and then 12,800. This is incredible because now it allows filmmakers to be able to shoot at a respective base ISO, ESO, whatever you want to call it, right? The, the, the gain, right? Which is within the middle of the range, which is comfortable for most people where they operate. When we shoot a lot of events, 3200, 6400 is usually pushing it. 3200 is a good sweet spot where we max it out. It looks good. This is going to probably, um, I don't want to use the words game changer, but it actually changes to the face of um, how versatile the C400 can be as a camera as compared to even the C C70. A lot of people I saw in the comments, oh, oh I'll just hang out to my C70. You can, sure. Um, they're two different cameras. Um, this camera being uh, under eight thousand um, dollars, I think it's it's not the cheapest thing out there. But I, I I can surely see what it is. It is stacked as well. It's a stack sensor, really fast readout. If you look at Canon's website, what you will actually see is uh, you know the rates at which it actually pumps out data. Uh, <coughs> it actually can shoot uh, all eye and long gop. If you don't know the difference, all I is the highest quality, um, you know, that you can get out of, uh, you know, which is, um, it's still compressed to some degree, but it has um, no frame skipping, binning, and none of that nonsense going on, right? Long gap is you'll use one frame and then you'll use another frame, 10 frames down and see what changed there and sort of put it together and keep on going to save space. And, you know, you can do both. Most cameras use long gop because it's less taxing on the processing. Well, based on sort of what, what we're seeing here in this camera, them putting in a CFast Express card, the quality of that codec should have gotten pretty pretty damn good. Um, you know, so and, and gotten even better, especially with the triple base ISO. Um, why am I having this all this video talk? Because uh, I usually don't talk a lot of video stuff uh, because um, it, it gets kind of geeky. Um, taking sort of what they've done with the sensor with this camera advancing it forward to the R1 
I can see what they're talking about. Incredible dynamic range of the camera, amazing low light performance, blah, 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 blah. Now you know why. And with a VCM type of lens coming, um, the beauty of that's going to be, I think the RF system is going to start to turn directions is to truly becoming a hybrid system. It's not just to say that it's a hybrid system. You actually have lenses that have the optical quality that's needed for photography. And it has true, you know, some of the best linear motors, not STM motors, linear, linear motors, right? And nano USM motors, extremely fast things in there um, designed for video work as well. So I think Canon's heading in the right direction. Uh, and this is something that I've been saying on my channel for years, that that's exactly what they were doing. <laughs> there they are doing it. Um, so this is why I keep saying all these people think they have sources. They really don't. These are bullshitters. Um, so don't fall for it. Make sure you like, you subscribe, and you come back here because I got a good one coming tomorrow. Um, really good one. Uh, it's not a Canon one, but I think you'll really, you will really like it. Um, and uh, in my last video, I know it was a little bit comical as well, uh, but um, my YouTuber friends, uh, I'm just having some fun with this. Um, so please, you know, play along. You can do it too. That's fine. I mean, you can call me out too. You know, say things, do stuff. Makes it exciting. With that, like, subscribe, be nice to each other, go out there, create your magic. And I am heading to a graduation. I'll talk to you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.